Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems we're getting, well, definitely Mandalorian Season 4. That's already been spoken about. It's already been teased. Uh, and it would also seem that it's looking like they're teasing a movie. Indirectly, at the very least. So, Mandalorian star Pedro Pascal on why he believes a movie featuring the bounty hunter is inevitable. I would say uh, I believe that. I do actually believe that is inevitable, quite frankly. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't jumped on that yet. Uh, make no mistake, it's not just going to be Din Djarin, the Mando. Uh, of course, it'll be Grogu as well. Which, you know what? I'll be there for it, I guess. Uh, be intrigued to see where they go. Now, this is confirmed, Season 4, right? This is Season 4 confirmed by Jon Favreau. However, again, the movie's unconfirmed. But pretty a foregone conclusion, I would say. So let's check out the foregone conclusion stuff first. And I will say as well, ladies and gents, please do uh, check out the channel a little bit more. Hit subscribe, give the video a like and share. Uh, and also in the description box, you'll find a link to my second channel. You might like it. You might not. But it's worth telling you because you you, you might like it, basically. And it's free content, right? So please do check that out. And follow me over on Twitter. I've been hammering this home Twitter's actually quite a fun place now, it seems, so do follow me over on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews. Links down below. So anyway, let's check this out, right? I can't show you the actual clip specifically because it is literally a clip of him talking. So uh, we're just going to check it out in terms of the transcript of that. Now, he was asked by Variety. Uh, it says, don't you think it's inevitable, i.e. about going to you know the big screen? Um, Pedro Pascal says, I personally, I have no, truly, I have no idea that that would be a dream come true. Not that any more dreams could possibly come true. Maybe I've had my film. However, read between the lines, I think, a, I do think a movie is a foregone conclusion. Seeing just the trailer on a big screen like that, I mean... The way it envelops you and takes you back. And at the same time, it is beyond special to be able to kind of have the intimate experience that we do have with these chapters of The Mandalorian and its expanded universe and everything that is to come and everything that's just started as far as Obi-Wan Kenobi and we're figuring it out. Do you know what this... It's almost like they're trying to sell this as its own separate entity, isn't it? Do you get that sort of vibe off this? I do. You know, I really do get that sort of. Uh, just forget that. Forget the sequels. We'll just forget Ray's trilogy, all right? Just calm down. We're doing this new thing and we're figuring it out. That's what it. That's what it seems like to me. Not that that's worth everyone forgiving them for. FYI, uh, I love going to the movies. Going back and just being able to be with an audience again is one of the most important things to me. If that happens with the Mandalorian, all I can say is please look. I'd say it's pretty obvious that they're going to do that. Uh, whether it be in theatres or not, though, that's the real thing, right? You know, do you make something that was a Disney Plus exclusive available for everyone? Uh, it's, I don't know. Can you keep the budget down? I mean, think about this. Like, if they bookended, not bookended, but if they tailed off uh, each one of their series with a movie, would that encourage more people to sign up? Probably. If you're thinking about a business move, that's not a bad one. Um, but like I said, I do think a movie for The Mandalorian is a foregone conclusion at this point. I think it, I think it's, you know, inevitable, you know, using their words. However, what is confirmed currently is Mandalorian Season 4, confirmed by Jon Favreau as he teases Lucasfilm to wider Star Wars plans. Now, again, you know, this is not super, super, super new stuff. I mean, this is new, actually. This was literally released today. But there was test, not test footage, but there was footage shown of Mandalorian Season 3. Um, and you know what? Like, it looked all right. Some of it was a little bit dumb, but a lot of it seemed all right. So... You know, a lot of people obviously thought Season 3 would be the last. Loads of people were saying, oh, there's loads of problems with Mandalorian... Uh, Grace Randolph specifically. So I guess egg on her face. Because uh, John Favreau's come out and says, With television, we're very lucky that we don't have to rush things through into an hour and a half to two hours. We get to tell stories slowly. So now, as Dave Filoni's doing Ahsoka, is very much informing me the writing that I'm doing for The Mandalorian Season 4. It becomes more precise. I mean, that's 
he's writing it at this point in time. And again, you know, you can have whatever opinion you like of, you know, Mandalorian or Star Wars in general, but I have enjoyed Mandalorian. Uh, it's been good fun, you know, and I like a, I like a little bit of escapism. So he continues, right? <laughs> continues it further. So we say, you know, the series is, of course, uh, set after the events of Return of the Jedi, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you might also notice that Favreau appears to be confirming plans for Ahsoka to inform what we see in The Mandalorian. And with the Grand Admiral Thrawn, no doubt up to something, all these different plot threads could start coming together to tie up some loose ends. Which I would say is probably going to be the case. Um, but what a fantastic way. Again, if you link that to the previous news of the potentially being a movie happening, can you imagine uh, you know, a, a movie with Grand Admiral Thrawn, Mandalorian... Uh, Soka, like all these big characters, them on the big screen. I'd, I'd be there for that. I think that sounds great. Now, we continued further and says, I think that inevitability, uh, I think that inevitably, no matter how simple you start, the story threads start to connect and weave and overlap. And with Dave Filoni's deep understanding of everything around the time period, the opportunities will always arise when we have story meetings and conversations about, well, you know what characters would be here now? So, ladies and gents, what does that tell us? Well, I would say, like, a, like, well, again, let's link them both together. I would say, first and foremost, it definitely looks like uh, a movie could happen. Uh, I think as well, looking at this just on face value movie, season four sounds great. I'm happy to have a season four. If season three is good, of course, I'm happy to have season four. Why not? You know, series can go on indefinitely as long as they're good. Uh, I've enjoyed Mandalorian. It's not been perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I've made no mistake. It's definitely not perfect. But I've enjoyed it for what it is. So I'm happy to see it continue. So I hand it on over to you. What do you guys think? Is this a yay or a nay? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. I think I said this at the start. I'm pretty certain I did anyway. But please do check out my Twitter at Mistage Reviews. Um, it's fun, like it's not bad, like it's it's good, and you keep up to date with me, what I get up to over there, you know, tweeting stuff out, uh, especially moving forwards. There'll be impromptu streams. They'll we'll do regular streams again as well. Make no mistake, we'll we'll get back to all of this stuff. Um, I just have some personal things that I have to take care of first and foremost, unfortunately, and then we'll get back with a ball rolling. But again, Twitter's a great place to keep in touch with me and stay up to date on all things channel related, and also just you know funny memes. So cheers, guys. Take care.